here with Thomas Hogart, the CEO of Nordship. Actually, have a look at the baby sister, but this one we're on today is actually a world exclusive. Here with Thomas Hogart, the CEO of Nordship. Can you tell me anything specific on how your boats are different from other ship manufacturers? Um, what, what we focus a lot on is that we want to, uh, we see ourselves as true boat builders and, and we are trying to continue the tradition. And that means that um, we built uh, uh, the traditional way where all the bulkheads are laminated straight onto the, the, the hull. So we have in, in all our hulls, we have a, a big steel frame and the keel is bolted into the steel frame. We have, of course, lead as the main part of the, the, of the keel. Yeah. And then all the bulkheads are, are mounted into the boat and fitted exactly into the boat and laminated onto the hull and laminated to the deck. And that means that we have no inner liners, so we are not fixed to a predefined position of the, of the bulkheads. We can actually move them forth and back. So if we have a, 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 a customer wishing a, a longer berth, yeah. they can have it two meter twenty, they can have it two and a half meter long if they, if they decide. And you can make, you have a lot of flexibility in, depend, in, in regards to if you want the, the galley in the front, if you want the galley up in the deck saloon, yeah. or if you want the galley in the back. Okay. So three cabins, two cabins, two toilets, whatever the customers want. So we are able to really customize, okay. even on a smaller range of boats. But I understand that everything done in-house? It is, yes. Yeah. We laminate the holes ourselves, we do all the woodwork ourselves and we finish the boats. So, uh, so everything is done in our facility in Denmark, yes. Okay. Thank you very much, oh, unless there's anything else you'd like to... You know, the, the one thing you can emphasize on the, on the Nordship boats is that um, there's a big discussion about uh, motor sailors and about deck saloon, etc. Yeah. And uh, seen from our perspective, it has always been a wish to make a sailing boat. Yes. So, so we have, it's very important for us to build a hull that actually sells well. And we have also done a lot to optimize on the keel, on the rigging, etc. Because the, the key, it is very important for us to, to bring sailing pleasure. Yes. and it should be fun to sail. Yes, exactly. And then what we have added on the Nordship is that we have added the race deck saloon. And I think we are not many on the market that actually offers that uh, raised deck saloon. But, it, but seen from our perspective, it gives a lot of comfort yeah. and, and a lot of joy, especially when you're in the harbors. But even, I was two weeks ago, I was sailing with my wife and some friends and the weather was terrible. It was just on the 6th of January and it was pouring down the rain and you had a lot of gusts, etc. And, and my wife and, and her friend were sitting downstairs uh, drinking a cup of coffee with the heating on and the men were allowed to enjoy the, the time upstairs in the rain. And, and that's what you can in a, yeah. in a true deck saloon because they, they didn't feel that they were down in the basement. They were actually up there and could see what was happening. They could follow the view, like in a motorboat, yeah. but enjoying the pleasure and, and the, the calmness of a sailing boat where you just have the silence and just the, the, uh, yeah, the joy of sailing. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Maybe one day we'll get the opportunity to go out sailing too. You're very welcome. Always. Thank you very much. We're going to start on the aft deck, and this is a centre cockpit boat. You have a, it's all teak, you have a really nice clear aft deck. Look how you've got the runners, a few cleats, solid stainless steel, and aft, there's a beautiful solid stainless steel um, rail for your security, and then a passageway here for your ladder and onto your scoop aft and obviously that ladder flips down for, for bathing and before you're wondering obviously once again we're inside so the back stays not um, nope. not there because there's no mast on the boat yeah. coming forward oh, I won't ignore this down on this corner there's a lovely little hatch for your gas bottles and other bits and pieces nicely out of the way and obviously your gas pipe runs through and I assume yeah you can see down in the corner there's the drain hole 
in case any water gets inside or there's any problems with the gas it can drain out nicely thought out clutches for sheets and once again these guys use Anderson winches too which are absolutely brilliant if you can ever find any of these second hand I would buy them these are 46 self tailing electric winches you can see the switches and clutches for you know once again all your lines there's, there's no mast or anything like that you know you can't see how it's set up but it runs through and up there's a nice side entrance to get on depending on how you're moored to the pontoon you have your water tank fill there it's just the workmanship look at the size of these tow rails they're absolutely huge and they're nicely rounded off of stainless steel really well done instead of having a huge stainless steel bar grab handle you have a nice section all rounded you can really get your hand round in there and if you're small like Teresa on um, Ruby Rose if you're little you know it's not too high there we go real glass real glass no plastic it's all solid tinted glass obviously this is where your mask gets mounted or your blocks self tacking jib and obviously you can have Genoa tracks however you want to configure it you have two hatches there one over the saloon and another hatch forward and some air vents coming all the way forward there's something quite cool you have your anchor barrel roller I won't go all the way forward dolphin seat but you have your ankle barrel roller you can have a double if you want your anchor is in fact underneath so your chains all hidden everything's underneath and if you're going um, bow on and you have to get onto the boat bow on there's a little foldable ladder that just pops out and then you can climb on forward like that which is excellent absolutely excellent really well thought out the anchor locker is closed maybe they don't want people playing with it and dropping the anchor but you have a huge anchor locker in there space for lines and fenders it's very um, voluminous now we'll come down on the port side we had a sneak peek yesterday I'll admit and spend some time talking with the guys at Nordship if we can this evening we'll actually have a look at the baby sister but this one we're on today is actually a world exclusive so more water water and diesel lovely hound position here aft I know some people say oh you know this style it's for older people um, but actually looking at some of the videos and the sea trials they have this is a very fast very capable boat and a safe boat because it's a center cockpit so if you're looking for security there's a slight I don't know if I can get this on the video but you can see there's a slight curve on the seat to help make it a bit more comfortable and either side of the helm is angled for if you're on the hill and under the helmsman's seat you have access for the emergency tiller and a large um, locker so pop that down lock it off a very nice large wheel which I like which is handy when you're in a big sea have your compass rain marine chart plotter um, bow thruster your engine controls start your engine start stop and obviously you can see your revs over here you have your rain marine um, wind instruments repeater and your throttle it's actually you'll know me <laughs> I say every time main sheet traveler it's right there so you imagine you're at the helm 
like I am, and I think I've just broken my phone. You've got your got your wheel. You've got your lines for your for your main sheet. If you want to use the winch, the the winch is right here. Your clutches are here. You know everything is where you want it. And obviously, except for the engine controls, it's all repeated over on the port side winch. So there's no lines. There's nothing within that that cockpit area. Either side of the helms um, seats, you've got a little storage locker here for, I don't know, put your water bottles in or flares or, you know, whatever you want. Coming into the cockpit, self-draining cockpit. As you can see, there's the drain hole there and the table folds out, it's on locks, table folds out. You've got area for bottles underneath and obviously all for your drinks. There's ventilation hatches for the cabins. And this is quite cool. This comes with an option that if you want it as a two cabin, you can have a man mechanical space down here, which is ac accessed inside too. But there's some hooks so you can just chuck some lines on or whatever. You can see there's access, they've left it open for the show. There's access to the exhaust system. Um, but this one's actually been set up as a small workspace and we'll have a look when we get underneath of our aft cabin. Just before the companionway you have um, rain marine wind instruments, repeaters. It's quite a nice very solid and heavy feeling door for your that you can close off your cockpit. It's really nice and it has glass coming down into the deck saloon itself you have five easy steps coming down this boat was actually finished about four weeks ago so it's brand new you can smell <laughs> you can't but i can smell all the wood oils and the varnishes steamed not glued laminates all steamed so this is your race saloon Okay, obviously being a deck saloon, I'm sat down and I'll give you an idea of your view from the window. It's a little higher at the front, spin you round, sorry about that. Those that have motion sickness and obviously all around here. And if you lift yourself up a bit, you can see out the front. There are options. You can have an extra sofa here. You can have this section raised up if you want to. Um, you can have uh, your autopilot and so on put down here so you can pretty much control everything you're doing and a chain counter. Come over to the nav station now. Obviously you have your switches. <laughs> you don't need me to go through them all. You can probably, if I go in closer, you can see what everything's for. You have, um, uh, repeating um, Navionics, you know, Fusion Stereo. Very nice little nav light that does white and red. This whole panel comes down. They were showing us yesterday. Um, so you have all the wires, all able to get to the electrics. They're all marked up. <coughs> Everything's numbered, marked. Nice little drawer, you know. And then storage and access to wiring and facilities too. And all the cupboards are vented. You're not really worrying too much about condensation. And the nav seat, which you can change, is on wheels. But it swings out, tucks away on the stainless steel bar. Obviously, if you go for the option of chairs, if that's what you want, um, you can do that. I'm going to come forward because there's some guests aft. <clears throat> Over this side you have your fridge, it's a 100 litre fridge and there's a sea lock on it so if you're at sea you can lock it off and it won't open. They're just funny little storage cupboards, access to your electrics for your mask so you know which is really good. Nice little shelf, Corian worktops, 
Um, obviously the choice of colour, choice of wood is entirely up to you. And come forward a little bit. You have a dual stainless steel stink, sink, hot and cold water stink, sink, get the words right, and drawers, cupboards. Two gimbal stove, it's possible to have an induction if you want. Got your oven, <coughs> more cupboards, has a um, you know cover top that pops over. Well I, I want to show you that bit of art in a second because they've got a really nice spot back there. This is your forward heads, so you have electric flush toilet, um, Corian worktops, sink, there's access to the pipes for the toilet there, and you have a huge separate shower. Get in it, show you the head height. So, you know, <coughs> it's not too bad. And just spin you around, sorry. Now we come forward, and here is your forward double viva at birth, which looks nice and comfortable. Um, be good for a couple of kids, or one adult, I think. There is storage underneath, and obviously you have cupboards all the way around here, and an opening hatch up here. Yeah. And a large hanging locker behind this door. Right. There is access to systems, build and storage underneath here. This is what I wanted to show you. Behind the companionway, you have another little seating area down here. So you have two large single seats. An area for bottles or glasses or some cupboards here, storage and access to your engine and services here and you can see the cell drive down there, it's quite dark, it's relatively well soundproofed, um, there is storage um, underneath the um, race saloon, there's also access for the heater there. You can pull the stairs out of the way, lift that out of the way to get access to bits and pieces you need and services. Everything sort of comes away. And the floor underneath the rug all pulls up. So you have a nice little seat here. In the it's just a nice little cosy private area if you want a bit of peace and quiet. And another seat here. And then the aft double cabin. Owner's cabin, parent's cabin. Um, maybe if I deliver it for you, skipper's cabin, that'd be nice, thank you very much. You have obviously cupboards here, 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 storage. You have two opening hatches there, more storage. Storage underneath the beds, cupboards there, another opening hatch here, so you're getting plenty of ventilation. And then coming forward, you have your own heads, um, a sink. You can have a shower in there if you want to, or have the option of it being a workspace. You close the door off, so it's all nice and private. It's entirely up to your choice. I would rather have a workspace because there's already a shower on the boat. Don't need a second one, really. So, you know, nice storage area, workspace, storage under the floor. And obviously, as we said, when we were looking down from the cockpit, it gives you access to like your water filter, fuel scrubbers, um, fuel tank, water tanks further forward, um, you know, your electronics. Just got access to everything, which is really, really good. Just come out of here, come forward to this nice little cozy area. She's a nice big boat, nice and beamy. She has a <laughs> she has a big belly, which is for your comfort. As we said earlier in the video, these boats are very, very stiff, extremely well made. I'm going to come through and have a look 
that the keel, nice, big, heavy, swept back keel. You're not going to have too much drag, but it's going to be stable and comfortable. And once again, she's a sail drive, folding props. And then you have, it's almost like a skeg, but it comes down and helps hold the rudder because the rudder, it's a single spade rudder, but it is absolutely massive. So I should imagine on the helm, there's a lot of feeling, great contact with the water. Beautiful boat. If you'd like to know any more, let me know down in the comments below. Um, we'll put a link to the website. Please hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.